Hi guys, I'm Chris from Human Talk Training. In this video, I'm going to teach you the club swing. Now, it, the club swing can be done a few ways. Most commonly, you'll see people doing it with two, two clubs, swinging them at their sides like this. You'll also see people holding a heavier club and swinging in between their legs, kind of like a kettlebell swing. But what I'm going to teach you is the one-handed club swing. Now, the, the reason I really like this is because it forces you to engage your core far more than the other exercises. Because what's happening, as, as you go throughout the swing, like when you come into this top position, the club's going to be wanting to take you this way. It's going to be wanting to talk your body and twist your spine. Also, when you come into this bottom position, it's going to be wanting to side bend you like this. So my, my core on this side is having to really work to hold me upright. Now, it's important, you should be able to twist your spine and side bend, but in this exercise, we're resisting that. So all the movement is coming from my hips. So from, so from my pelvis to my rib cage, all here is stainless, is, is not moving. Now, it will move a tiny bit, but it's, it's basically staying stable and all the movement is coming from my legs. Okay, so to begin the exercise, you need to get your body into correct alignment. Now, to do this, we're going to be getting as tall as possible. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. So, so doing this, what, what, what's going to happen is, my chest and my rib cage are going to be lifting. So it's like I'm decompressing my spine, I'm lengthening my spine. So, so my chest and rib cage are lifting. Now I'm not puffing out like this, creating a big arch in my lower back. That, that'll be bad for you. So I'm lifting and getting tall. Now when you do this, your belly button will draw in towards your spine naturally. And throughout the whole exercise, you want to keep your belly button drawn in towards your spine. Um, and also notice on yourself, as you lift your chest and rib cage, your shoulders should come down and back. Okay, so just just notice notice it on yourself. So lift your chest and rib cage and your shoulders will come down and back. Now you want to keep them down and back throughout the whole whole exercise. This this would be hard for some people. If you've got a posture where your upper back is really rounded and your shoulders are hunched forward like this this is not the best exercise for you. You need to be able to get this position where your shoulders are back and down. Basically, you just need to go and do some corrective stretches and exercises to, to correct that problem before doing exercises like this and all other club bell exercises. Okay, so if you can get that tall posture, you're ready to go. So my feet are going to be hip width apart and my feet are pointing straight forward so they're not turned out like this, like a duck. If, 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 you, if you do the swing, swing like this with your, with your feet turned out, bad things are going to happen to your knee and it just comes up the chain. Bad things are going to happen at your pelvis and your low back. So you, so you want your feet pointing straight forward. Okay, so I'm getting that, this tall posture. My shoulders are coming back and down. Throughout the whole exercise, I'm going to be squeezing my, tri my triceps to keep my arms straight. So it's, it's not an arm exercise, my arm's just coming along for the ride. So I'm not squeezing it to death, but I'm just squeezing it to keep my elbow locked out. And also, my, the inside of my elbow, my elbow pit, needs to be facing straight forward the whole time. So, so when I'm here, my elbow pit will be facing straight towards you. And when I'm in this top position, my elbow pit is going to be facing straight at the roof. Now, this is turning on the little muscles at the back of your shoulder. You rotate the cuff, which in, in most people are lengthened and, and pretty weak, so this is a good exercise for your shoulder health as well. Okay, so with the exercise, I'm getting this tall posture, and basically I'm going to be sitting back like this. Now, you'll notice my lower leg is going to be staying pretty vertical. It's, my, my knees might come forward a tiny bit, but it's an, I'm not doing a squat. I'm basically I'm sitting back, like I'm doing a Romanian deadlift. Okay, so squeezing my tricep, elbow pointing face face forward, toes and feet pointing straight forward, standing tall, shoulders back and down, and my belly button drawn in. I slowly just start sitting back and then standing back up. Now, even when I'm in this position here, I'm maintaining that tall posture. Okay, so I'm keeping a small arch in my low back, not, 
Not, not a huge arch, a good way to see is if you stand up against a wall, or a flat wall, um, if you put your fingers in between, in between your wall and your lower back, you should be able to fit your fingers through. If you can fit your whole arm through there, you've got some imbalances and, and you need to correct them. Okay, so, so I'm maintaining that tall posture throughout the whole exercise. So my, my legs are doing the work and my arms just going along for the ride. as well is if you imagine, like, like I said, you're, like you're standing back up, don't think about standing back up. When you come down here, think about pushing your feet into the ground so that, so that you come up to a straight position. What, what, what a lot of people want to do is when you come up to here, if your hips are coming forward like this and your low back is arching, arching back, that will be bad for your back. So you basically you think about pushing into the ground until you come up and you're straight like a soldier. Okay, now, as I was saying before, with the one-handed club swing, the front-on view is just as important as the side view. So, what I'm doing here, feet hip-width apart, toes pointing straight forward, and I'm swinging. So, as I was saying, the club bell is going to be wanting to pull me to the side like this. So, when you move up in weight, the side, the side that your club's on, that leg is going to have a little bit more weight on it. And you will be you will be driving from that leg a little bit more. Now also focus on getting like a mind body connection to this side of your abs and your low back because that's what when you're down here that's what's going to be really working to hold you upright so you're not going down like this. Okay, so I'll just show you. So standing tall, elbow elbow pit facing straight forward. Okay, and where you should be feeling it, you should be feeling this in your hamstrings and in your butt especially. When you come up to that top position, you want to be squeezing your butt cheeks together. Okay, so awesome exercise guys. I still do this all the time. Another thing that's really good for is if, if on one side of your body you're really good and then you get to the other side and you're all over the joint, that's something you need to work on and work on, work on your bad side and try and Try and balance out your body so you can remain injury free and swing clubs for a very long time.